Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another little tip. You guys seem to really like um, the tip I had of Zara Web Designer, so I got another one for you. I'm creating a mobile site for this uh, client of mine, and what I'd kind of like to do with my mobile sites to make them a little easier to use on the phone is create this accordion and this accordion here is really nice um, as you can see it's got the colors of the website so it matches really nicely and it jumps like that on my desktop but on the phone it doesn't really jump like that so I'm gonna show you how I integrated this accordion here because the accordion that comes with Zara Web Designer is not exactly what I'm looking for this one's CSS so it's gonna work on um, just about any uh, modern phone and I'm going to show you how uh, some examples of how it's going to. I, I have a couple of iPods I usually use and my Android phone, of course, so that I can show you how that's going to work. Um, so let's go ahead and get to it. So basically, here is notice how it doesn't look right, um, the final product here, but of course, it looks right when you render it. So, um, and rest assured, it looks fine when um, you open it on your phone. Here is the actual website. Now, I'm not using the website variants. I'm not using the website variants that I don't really like using responsive web design. I like to use the server based web design where I tell the server if a screen is such and such um, to bring up the uh, new website. Now, that might not be the thing you like to do. Uh, I like to do it that way because that way I can definitely, I'm a control freak, and I like to um, be able to put what I want on the mobile site. And if that just means double work, that's perfectly fine for me. Um, but with the beauty of Zara Web Designer, if I were to say change something that repeats on every page, it will change if whether I have five pages or 50 pages. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, and it works really well. Uh, let me show you how I did it. So basically, I went to a site and copy and pasted. And I'm going to tell you the site that I used right now. I went to this site, how to create CSS3 only um, vertical accordion. Okay, and here it is right here. I'll give you a couple of seconds, or you can just pause the video and type this exact um, site in, address in, and just go down here and basically just copy and paste. I'm going to go ahead, I'm not going to destroy what I've already created. I'm basically just going to create a new page and work from scratch and show you how I did it. So, as I said, I have this as um, repeat on every page and it works perfectly fine and all you're going to do is create a little square here it doesn't matter how big because you're gonna change that later and then you're gonna come and either right click on it web properties and you're going to go to placeholder okay so basically you're just gonna right click wherever you are to do the placeholder um, and then you're going to go to the body and then you're going to come to this here and this is the actual HTML so this is the HTML and you're just going to highlight this entire HTML here and you're going to copy and you're going to paste that in okay and there's your first part so I to make life a little easier I'm going to regenerate the placeholder here so you can see what I'm doing so we're going to apply that and as you can see the HTML works fine. So then you're gonna go here to the head and you're gonna create the CSS code. Now this is in between the beginning and ending head and if you don't know HTML this might not be for you but um, it doesn't take a lot to learn how to do this. Basically the code has a beginning head and ending head and it kinda looks like this. Okay that's already written for you that's already in the code what you're going to do is create a new one called style Oops, if I can type today and then everything that you're gonna copy now that I'm gonna show you you're gonna put in between this these two okay that's all you have to do so basically now he's gonna go down and after all the H um, the HTML He's going to put the, the CSS. Now, don't leave anything out. He's got one section here, another section here, and a third section here, 
and a final section here. So you want to highlight all of that. So let's highlight this first part. Copy. And then paste it in there. There's the first part. And then I'm going to just, you know, do some enter and give, create some space. So let's just go ahead and click through here. Copy. Paste. And I'm just going to control V because it's going to be a lot easier for me. And then a couple of spaces there to give myself some space. Go back here. Copy. I'm just doing control C for copy and control V for, for paste. Okay, and then the final section. Copy and paste. Okay, now that that's all done, let's make sure that I got everything. Yep, that's all of it. Now we say okay, and now when I click apply, you'll see this dynamically change. And there we have the uh, little demo. So all of the uh, HTML, the, the, the actual HTML is right here. And the actual CSS is all right here. And that's the hard part. After that, it's stylizing. Let me show you a little bit how to stylize. And then you can go ahead and stylize it any kind of way you want.